Hello everyone in YouTube land, we love our back here as always. Alright, this is going to be a quick uh, review of TMNT Out of the Shadows, the, sec the sequel to the 2014 reboot movie. Um, this was an awesome movie. Like, this was so good. I loved the first one. I really did. A lot of people were hating on it, but people kind of came around on it, I guess. You know, people were hating on it because of Michael Bay, um, even though he didn't direct any of these movies at all. Um, he's the producer, but I think they got another director for Out of the Shadows. It's not the same one as the 2014 movie, but, um, and they did switch around the cast, I think, for the second one. They got another one. They got another good voice actor voicing Leonardo and another actor uh, playing uh, Shredder, so, which were really good. It's an improvement. It really is. I mean, I thought the guy that played Shredder in the first one, the 2014 movie, was Really good. Uh, I didn't mind him, uh, but I guess maybe a contract or something. Who who knows what happened? Uh, I think John, yeah, Johnny Knoxville voice style Leonardo in the 2014 movie. Um, but I think the guy that did the that, that did Leonardo's voice in uh, this one, Out of the Shadows, is a bit, did a better job. Cause Johnny Knoxville sounds like Johnny Knoxville, you know, like that's it. But um, yeah, overall, like this movie is a huge improvement. I think it's one of those rare sequels that's better than the first movie. It, re it really is. I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm not putting it up there with Empire Strikes Back or Aliens or T2 or, you know, whatever else. A great sequel does Back to the Future 2 or whatever. But, I mean, ter in terms of just a fun summer movie, like, this is pure fun. If, you, if you're a TMNT fan, you got to see this movie. Just like, 20, this, just, just like the 2014 movie, you know. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the th first and second. I love the, th the trilogy. I mean, of the Turtles, a lot of people don't like the third movie in the original trilogy or whatever. But, um... But I like, you know, the first one and Secret of the Ooze and all that stuff, but in the, in the 2007 CGI TMNT movie. But, like, these two movies, like, this reboot franchise, like, this is really, it, it, it's, they're taking it seriously. They're taking the source material, I mean, it's, they're not perfect movies, don't get me wrong, but they're taking the source, man, source material really seriously. And especially the second one, man, god damn, this is like nostalgia, like heaven for TMNT fans. Krang, Bebop, and Rock City, I mean, Technodrome, whatever, I mean, it's just like, it's really, really well done. I mean, it really is. Um, Krang looks like Krang. Uh, <laughs> I don't know the voice, the actor does Krang's voice. Um, I think he was on, everyone knows Raymond or whatever and some other stuff. But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he sounds like Krang. I mean, he is Krang. He lo it looks awesome, you know, and people from, people from Rocksteady or <laughs> Baxter Stockman and it's like, what more do you want in this movie? What more do you want as a Team NT fan? Um, it really is like late 80s, early 90s nostalgia. It feels like you're watching the cartoon. You know, it feels like you're watching a live action cartoon. Very cartoony, comic booky. y um, The turtles are there. More on screen than anything else. They were on screen a lot in the first movie. I mean, they were. At all. I mean, they were. But this one, they really are. I mean, they're there. You see them a lot in the sewers, in their home, you know, like in their lair. You see Splinter. Splinter's not in the movie that much, but he's there. Um, Shredder's in the movie a lot. I read one user review on IMDb saying that Shredder was in the movie a lot. I don't know what they're talking about. Shredder was in the movie. And, yeah, like, <laughs> it is just so cool. And... They set it up for, it's definitely set up for a third movie. I mean, it really is. Back to Stockman, you know, like, I mean, it, it really, if you see him, I'm not going to spoil the movie or whatever, but, um, like, it's, yeah, it's definitely set up for a sequel. And then, yeah, I'm not going to, like I guess I'd spoil it, but, um, a lot of people were saying maybe the ending is kind of rushed. I don't think so. I mean, I deal, and the movie did what it needed to do, you know, uh, but this is, for the fans. This is not like dumbing it down, watering it down for the mainstream audience, you know, bringing in something to, you know what I mean? It's not bringing it for, I mean, kids can watch it, of course, but not going to get much out of it, I guess. You know, if you take someone who's not a Team NT fan, they're not going to you know, get much out of it. They're going to be like, what's this, what's this crazy, icky guy, you know, like coming out of this robot and like, what is this shit, you know, and a rhino and a pig and it's like, what is this shit? This is crazy, but, <laughs> but if you're, you're, you're it, it's so good. It's so cool, man. It's, it's really like, I don't know if it's one of my favorite movies of this year, but it's definitely there. I mean, it's really, really fun. 
It's pure fun. That's it. Um, yeah. <laughs> is it better than Civil War? No. But at the same time, it's not dumb or stupid or whatever. I mean, it's people are making people seem to make fun of Team T a lot, you know, and it, it, it's really good. Go see it seriously if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but post your comments down below what you thought about if you did see Team T uh, uh, two out of the shadows. Let me know. So this is just my review of the movie, and yeah, more random videos coming soon. Peace out. Later. Bye.